here's a sample of the kind of paper we're going to be making. The ways that you can make the actual paper be its own art form is an incredibly um, addicting process along with making the sheet itself. So these all have a variety of inclusions that you can collect and bring. Um, also we can make singular one color sheets of paper. The other focus that I'm going to have is to be teaching you how to work with natural fibers that you can collect from your backyard. No tree will lose its life. It might lose a bit of a limb. Um, you might be able to do some yard work and also collect uh, daylily day day leaves or petals and whatnot that will be turned into paper. Harvesting the bass. This is, um, I think I have a little bit of corn just from having made dinner, some of the corn husks. This has a little bit of dryer lint in it, and um, this is a beautiful piece made from, um, I think, an oak tree and uh, something else that made it that beautiful orange color. This one is a poplar tree. But once we get the actual process of making the paper underway, then I'm going to be showing you a variety of book making techniques. And then you can select the one that you want and go in as many directions as you want or go in all of them. Um, this is a basic stab bound book process that my friend and former colleague James Oliver made and you can see the beautiful way he's made this edge with the piece of paper and some basic design skills, nice black paper on the inside. This is a Coptic stitch journal that I've made with some really beautiful handmade paper. Um, working this with this Coptic stitch binding technique. And then the other thing that I'll be showing you how to do is a hard case bound book which is maybe more like the one we're used to pulling off the shelf and once you see that the basics of it are a simple um, um, edge and the, the leaf and then the signatures that go inside and we put them together and very quickly you have a book and you find out that it was actually quite simple to do. So this is one that I got a little wild on. I thought I should use one of my favorite t-shirts for a cover. And then I got a little more wild with some um, resin. So I am definitely open to a variety of experimental processes along with seeking the very sort of uh, traditional, more typical tailored book. This is a stab down book that we've made from handmade paper. So I hope you join me on those days and uh, we'll see what you want to make and I look forward to seeing you then.